McDavid, of course, top of the leaderboard, in, you know, near top in points behind Dry Saddle, top in multi point games, top in power play points, um, which of course doesn't count in DraftKings, but it's a good indicator that he's worth it on a nightly basis just because he gets that prime usage and uh, conversion. The Oilers' first power play unit has been ridiculous. The power play operating at 50% through 10 games. That's historic stuff. But Nugent Hopkins along for the ride. He's actually tied with McDavid for the NHL lead in assists with 14 and 10 games due for his first goal with none on 20 shots. I think he could get it tonight. Obviously, the Edmonton Oilers are facing the Detroit Red Wings, who have been a pleasant surprise but are still sixth worst in the league in penalty kill and goals allowed. So ripe uh, matchup for McDavid and Nugent Hopkins tonight. I mean, Jeff, is he worth this price tag? The other day he scored the goal of the year, like dangling a puck skating through four Rangers. And now he's going up against the Red Wings. Yeah, it looks like me, you know, when I go play to, with the 10 year olds nope. at the rink outside in the winter. Oh, man. yeah. I mean, just dangling through, right? Just but, beating but, up but on your rid- children. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's just ridiculous stuff there, though, by Connor McDavid. And look, everything Pete said is right. The others also might be starting like their third string net miner tonight, which really only adds to the fact that we might see like a 5 4 6 5 game, which, you know, Edmonton is very good at winning. So um, he's he's worth it. It's just we have a 10 game slate and, and there are there are a lot of good matchups here. Uh, and you have like a team like St. Louis where you can stack with Vladimir Tarasenko, you know, Ryan O'Reilly. Uh, back in the lineup for them as well. You can stack that first line power play for a lot cheaper. So I'm going to say no to the question of do you absolutely have to start with Connor McDavid? But you can start with him. I mean, absolutely. It's just you're going to, it's going to limit what you can do with the other positions. Like you're probably not going to be able to stack St. Louis and Edmonton. So I I don't think you necessarily need to because there's so many high high upside spots. Guys like Tarasenko in that mid range uh, and even like Boston is in a very good match against Ottawa. But yeah. Um, I'm not going to go too hard against Pete here because uh, this, this Edmonton power play is just redonkulous at this point.